Hello, this is Max Williams, and today I am in Chester, Virginia. I'm a real estate professional with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and this is a government-owned home in a newer subdivision. Uh, this subdivision was built uh, in about 2009, and this is fairly rare for a HUD home. Normally, we don't see HUD homes in this type of uh, neighborhood, and definitely not this price range. So uh, we're in for a treat today. Uh, they've currently got this home priced at uh, about 320000 which is an awesome price. I was speaking with the neighbor uh, just a few minutes ago, and he was shocked. Obviously, he paid much, much more for his house, which is uh, very similar to this one. But it is just a reality of the marketplace. Uh, there is uh, evidence that this home was uh, definitely uh, well cared for. Um, as we come into the home, we have a formal living room here to the left. Uh, they went in and uh, had a nice brown uh, cocoa color with white carpet. This carpet is definitely serviceable. It shows very, very little wear, very little surface dirt. It should clean up nicely. Here as we spin around, we've got a nice dramatic staircase. This staircase can be accessed from two points on the first floor and offers a really nice entrance. We've got the beautiful wood steps. And then to the right, we have a formal dining room. A lot of nice detail in this dining room. We've got the chair rail, and we've got really neat detail in the tray ceiling. Uh, nice fixture there. And just a really, really classy looking formal room. One small thing, here we have a little gash, and this probably happened when they were moving out uh, a floor in professional can probably take care of that or if you're cheap you can just simply put a runner there or a nice decorative carpet and keep it moving here we have a coat closet as we transition here to the back corner of the house a little niche there that you can put some artwork uh, ryan was uh nice enough to go ahead and put a light there so really neat look at night you can turn that on and highlight your artwork we got another coat closet here Plenty of storage on this first floor. And a powder room here as well. Nice burnt orange. That's a really popular color now. Uh, it's obvious that the previous owner had a really good taste. We have a first floor office here through the French doors. Uh, this is nice because you've got plenty of natural light here in this corner. Also, we've got a nice ceiling fan to move the air around. And this would be a perfect home office, uh, conveniently located on the first floor. You've got the powder room right next door and even a little additional storage here across the hall. As we move into the family room, nice wood floors, of course, throughout. We've got the gas logs, nice vaulted ceiling, uh, plenty of light in this room as well. Ceiling fan, they did come in and put surround sound speakers on all four corners. There is our junction there for our audio visual system. They also have the wiring there for your HD TV. Here as we look towards the front of the house, we've got the nice staircase there and the walkway uh, on the second floor. So a really nice floor plan here on this first level. Plenty of wood floors. Uh, one other thing that's a nice little detail. Sometimes people ask me, why do they put an outlet right there in the middle of the family room? Well, that's a great question. If you have a sofa and a table, typically the table will have a lamp. And instead of trying to figure out how to run a cord across the floor, that you just go ahead and plug it right there into the uh, recessed outlet. Very smart move. Here in the back, we have a nice large breakfast nook. We've got tile floors throughout the kitchen and this breakfast nook. Plenty of light once again comes into this space. Uh, also, in our gourmet kitchen, we've got a beautiful granite here that not only is on the countertops, but also this huge island. This island is so big, I've actually sold homes that were actually smaller than this island. This is just a massive amount of food preparation and storage space. 
nice sink, double uh, sink there with um, disposal, stainless steel GE profile appliances, including the dishwasher, the nice gas cooktop, and also GE profile microwave. Very nicely done here. Very rich looking cabinetry in this kitchen. And of course, what kitchen could be com would be complete without double GE profile ovens? It's a very nice touch. The only thing you would need to do in this kitchen would be to bring in your own stainless steel refrigerator, which would go right there. And there's our line already waiting for the ice maker. Nice additional pantry space. This is actually a walk-in pantry. So you've got plenty of storage in there for your food. Okay, I'm gonna spin around here, give you another look from this corner, see exactly what this kitchen looks like from the back corner. Very, very nicely done. Also, I forgot to mention, we've got some nice recessed lights there in the ceiling. Give you plenty of light in this kitchen. All right, the garage. We are gonna take a look at the garage, but first we've got a little laundry room here in route to the garage. The garage is huge. This is not a one, not a two, but a three car garage. Three cars will get in here. We've got gas water heater and a gas furnace with central air, of course. One thing that's kind of neat, I've never seen this before, is that they went in and they actually have a recessed part of the floor here where the HVAC goes in. And I think that was to get the unit low enough where they could take the duct work underneath the crawl space. Just kind of neat, I've never seen that before in a Ryan home. Also, we do have an irrigation system. There's the controller and of course our 200 amp electrical. And very, very, nice garage this does have openers on both doors so all you have to do is pull up hit the button and roll right in we're going to go up and take a look at the second floor as i said earlier my name is max williams and i like to come into these homes give you an idea of what the floor plan looks like uh, you could see 15 20 photographs of this home you'd have no clue on how it flowed or what the floor plan is like hopefully this will give you an idea Okay, we've got a secondary bedroom here. This is a really good sized bedroom. Nice ceiling fan in place there. And we've got two closets as well. To the left, we've got a powder room. One thing they did in here was they did nice tile flooring and a nice touch here with the surround. This is a really good classy look here with the material they used in the surround. Very clean and polished looking. Bedroom number two. This is probably the most conservative of the bedrooms. Uh, still big enough to be a great child's bedroom. Two closets once again. You could get a full or a twin bed in here with no problem and normal bedroom furniture. Okay, we're going across. Very, very dramatic view there. And yet our second little art nook. So if you're art connoisseur, that's a perfect place to put a little statue going into the master bedroom, which is absolutely huge. I know it's tough to tell scale on the video, but believe me, trust me, this is huge. Very, very nice. You actually have an alarm panel right there as well. French doors. They had a flat screen mounted there. Uh, obviously, they had the plug and the outlet there, so that's exactly where they intended to put it when it was mounted. So if you go back with the same thing, you don't even have to really fix the wall. Just mount it right over top of it. Absolutely massive walk-in closet. This is huge. If you don't have, if this isn't enough space for you, you probably need to downsize and get rid of some clothes because this is absolutely huge. Imelda Marcos would love this house with her thousands and thousands of pairs of shoes. Okay, this is probably one of my favorites. The Grand Master Bath. If that's not a, a, a nice image, I don't know what is. Okay, 
Hmm, self-explanatory. We're gonna close that door back. We had something going on here. I'm not sure exactly what, but um, that is something that a contractor could take care of with not a whole lot of hassle. Uh, we've got vanities on both sides for his and her. And of course, this beautiful, deep, jetted tub. This is a great place to spend the day after a long, hard day's work. We've got nice detail around. And then of course, another large vanity. Just a very, very nice, dramatic master bath. Even the shower looks good. Look at that, you got some nice detail in there. All of these things that we're looking at here that I'm, that I'm pointing out, as far as nice detail, these are all upgrades. Upgrades. They paid a nice amount of money for these upgrades when they built this house new. That's actually where a lot of builders make their money is in the upgrades. Okay, here to the left, we've got the green bedroom. This is probably an average size bedroom. Uh, this looks out over the front of the house. Once again, we've got double closets here. Uh, another good space. All right, we're gonna go up to the third level. The third level, yes, this would be the man or the woman cave up here. Nice wide open space. I've seen Ryan do this a couple different ways. I've seen sometimes where they'll break it up. Sometimes it's just wide open space. We do have a two zone heating and air system. This is the upstairs zone, obviously. There's our gas line and our upstairs unit. Nice large unit. This space is wide open. It is a long, narrow space. There's a good shot there for you. So there's a number of different things you could do with it. It could be the man or woman cave. It could be a playroom. This would be an actually an excellent exercise area too. It's so big and the knee wall is actually pretty high. Got a nice view. We've got actually a very large side yard that you can see there. And it is fenced all the way around. Very well done. The carpet throughout this whole house is all serviceable, would not need to be replaced. They also have a thermostat up here on the top level. All three levels have thermostats actually, which make it nice because if you're not up here, you definitely don't want to cool this upstairs space. It would get uh, pretty expensive and be wasteful if you weren't going to spend any real time up here. All right, we're going to go on back downstairs and take a look at the backyard real quick. Uh, as I said, my name is Max Williams, and if you have any questions about this or any other home, or would like to take a look, or would like me to set up a custom list of bank and government-owned homes for you, let me know. Uh, I think this would be an excellent home for someone that worked at Fort Lee, and I'm also prior service, so I definitely understand what it's like to have a change of duty station and all the things that are involved. My job as a real estate professional would be to help make that process as smooth and easy as possible. Okay, here we see our large side yard. It's actually backyard, but the majority of it is to the side of the house. Just absolutely large. You would definitely need a riding mower back here. That's a look there of the morning room that we looked at just off the kitchen. They did not do a deck on this house. Kind of surprising, but that gives you an opportunity to put your HGTV skills to work and come up with a nice custom deck that works for you. Also, we have our two zone AC units here on the side and they do a good job of keeping this beautiful large home cool. Once again, Max Williams, if you have any questions for me, 402-7788, 402-7788. Since you made it all the way through this video, uh, what I'm offering if someone uh, likes this home and uses me to acquire it, we're gonna go ahead and take care of your home inspection cost. We'll credit that to you at closing, and that's a nice little gift from me to you for enduring this whole tour. Max Williams, 402-7788. Thanks so much. Look forward to hearing from you 
and you have a great day.